So Canon has released their EOS webcam utility beta. And what does it do? Well, it's in the name. It lets you use your Canon camera as a webcam. Now you're probably asking yourself, uh, Lo, I've already got a webcam on my computer. Why would I want another one? I just want people to see my face. Yeah, 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 I get it. But hear me out, man. You're using your DSLR camera as a webcam. Now, what does that do? Well, here we go. Let's go through the list. Number one, you get far better more far better more picture quality from your DLSR camera. Number two, well, more settings, and especially with the white balance. Number three, you get to change out your lenses. Hello, long, wide, whatever, and zoom in and out. Zoom in and out, right? Uh, number four, hello, dual pixel autofocus. And number five, what was number five? Ah, yes, the O-Suite Bokeh. You know, that shallow depth of field, shallow depth of field, right? Who wouldn't want that? Online, zoom meetings, whatever, shallow, you're looking pretty. All right, but it is a beta, so not everything is all perfect. I'll get to those things at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Until then, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, besides, of course, having a Canon camera, is going to the Canon website. Here's a link right here. I'll leave the link also in the description down below. But go ahead, you see there, you know, Canon, they're kind of doing their thing with the whole COVID-19 thing. You know, we know you're stuck at home, so we're gonna turn your we're gonna turn your Canon camera into a web camera. Well, thank you so much, Canon. Uh, okay, so EOS webcam utility beta. You have your download instructions. And then these are currently the cameras, your Canon cameras that you can use with the beta for now. Uh, you have your, your, your regular Canon cameras. Me personally, I have the EOS 8010, um, no, 80D. And then you have all these other Canon cameras and then these as well as, a, as, well as some power shots. Now, what do you have to do? Well, you've got your download instructions right here, but just, for me, the EOS 80D, click on there. It brings you to your product page. It automatically scrolls down. You see EOS Webcam Utility Beta 9 Windows, all right? Select, download, and it starts downloading at the bottom. It'll create a zip file. You can just open that up and install. All right, I already have it on my computer, but I don't have to do that. Now, once it's finished installing on your computer, you're going to want to restart computer, so Let's just do a little imagination uh, restart. Now, while your computer is restarting or whatever, grab your camera and the USB cord for your camera, plug that cord into your camera, and from the camera straight to the USB port in your computer. Once your camera's plugged in, make sure your camera is set on video mode and turn it on. Once it's on, you'll hear that oh so familiar sound of hey, this is Windows and I just found something new. At this point, you can use your camera like you normally would, setting up your settings, your framing, your color, white balance, whatever you want. Now for the first test, let's use a popular application like Zoom. So now we'll try our first setup within Zoom. So open up Zoom, uh, go to a new meeting. Zoom will start up and we'll go to our up arrow and we'll pick the EOS webcam utility beta. We'll select that, we will start video. And after a little bit, our picture will show up. And there we go, there we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm just, I'm using the, uh, my Canon 80D during Zoom and now I can use my, I can use my, uh, my DLSR during my Zoom meetings. Like I said before, you got the nice little blurry background, the higher picture quality. Yeah, so pretty simple. Obviously, you know, I've, I've got to adjust it right here, but you're getting a nice little good sample. All right, so let's try OBS for the next one. So once you open up OBS, you're probably already gonna have a video capture device. Now you can't change the video capture device for some reason with this beta utility. You have to create a new one. So we'll go to the plus sign, we'll go to video capture device. We'll call this one Canon. Is that how you spell Canon? No, that's how you spell it. I don't know. We'll press okay. And then it creates a new one. And then you switch your device to, again, the EOS webcam utility beta. And I'll just leave everything as default. And yeah, there it goes. All right, so it's a striking di uh, difference between the camera, the DSLR camera, and the web camera. DSLR, web camera, DSLR, web camera. Obviously, the the DSLR just looks way better. Um, it just just looks more uh, lifelike, less saturated, um, but it just looks good overall. Uh, I really like it. All right, so that was pretty simple to set up and it looks fantastic. Now, like I said before, there are some slight cons or hiccups to this whole entire process. Number one, there's a slight, there's a bit of a slight audio sync problem when using the camera and going straight to this. It's not that big of a deal, but it's there. Most people won't recognize it, especially if you're doing like an online meeting, 
but it's there. If you're recording, you can uh, line it up later. All right, number two, you can't use the audio from the microphone. For some reason, you're just getting a picture. But don't worry about it. That'll probably be fixed in the future. Remember, this is a beta. So right now, the priority is just to use it as a webcam and just get the video to our computer. Number three, well, it's a DSLR. It's not a small camera. It's a big camera. So you're probably going to have to think in advance where you're going to have to set this bad boy. Right now, I have this on a monopod right next to my desk. It's pretty big. You might want to invest in a desktop tripod as well. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that. And just kind of figure out where you're going to have this sitting. Remember, you just can't have this sitting on top of your monitor. Number four, the USB connection. This is the Canon 80D, so it's an older camera with an older USB connection. Good luck finding one of those older USB connections. Plus, it was a really short cord and I had to use a USB extender for that. I used a USB 3.0 extender to the 3.0 port on my computer and it worked just fine. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that as well in case you need an extender. And number five, well, the battery life. I don't know about you, but this Canon camera does not support power over USB in any way. Whatever battery's in there, that's how long my picture is gonna last, however the battery lasts. So keep that in mind. I probably could get some accessory where I can have like an internal battery that plugged to a wall, maybe, probably, but I don't want to. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, guys, I'm super excited for this beta. Using my DSLR camera as a web camera, yes, please, amazing video quality online in my Zoom meetings or whatever, yeah, I'll take it. All right, guys, if you found this very helpful or some found some value in it, go ahead, leave a comment and Feed this guy here some likes. Until the next video, guys, learn, do, and share. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.